Are we good? We're good. All right, let's do this. Hey right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Holly Vault Podcast. I'm your host, Safan. Um, to let you know, if you're unaware, I'm kind of come down with the flu. Um, this morning is kind of hazy in Southern California. It's kind of hazy right now. The day before, there was all these chemtrails. It was like, I count about like, how many chemtrails was there? There was like a ton. There was like, let's see, how many line did it count? It's like eight, eight to ten trails I seen in within an hour. So... Yeah, they, there was all these chemtrail yesterday, and then suddenly the next day is foggy. So, so right now, I guess I'm the became a victim of the chemtrail, the aluminum oxide that they released in the atmosphere. So I guess that's what leads to my my congestion, my congest congested nose. So I po- I apologize, and please excuse me if I have to wipe my nose and I know it's unprofessional but yeah I gotta make another video for you guys but um in this video I want to talk to you about recently that Bill Maher Bill Maher the the I don't know what is he he's half Irish half Jews right recently stated on stated on the show that the reason why fly over country or middle America are hate California because they're jealous with California first of all excuse me first of all First of all, all right, I live in California, all right? If anything, I'm jealous of people in middle America. They have more freedom, more rights than California California ever do. California is the highest tax state. Not only is the highest tax state, it's the, the state with the lowest, what's that? The living conditions, the lowest living condition, the unappealing. People are less happy here, all right? What, so my question is to Bill Maher is that if people are in rural middle America are so jealous of California, then why did California have have the highest homeless rate, right? San Francisco, LA, the Bay Area, San Diego, all those big cities, high homeless rate, high narcotics rate, and high what? It's, the state is broke, all right? What's there to be jealous of? California is broke. The, the, the reason, that's the reason what leads to all these taxes in California because they don't know how to handle the money. Government do not know how to spend their money efficiently, all right? That's, the th- that's what's wrong with California. It's not because there, here's one reason is that, oh, because LA is more glamorous. Oh, TV show won a film in California. You know, last time I checked, TV studio in California are moving to an, a red state. For example, most studio in California that started in California moved to Georgia because they got a better tax break than what they do in California. So I don't know where he gets this grandiose illusion that California is still the best place to live. I mean, besides the weather, right? The weather isn't all that great as well recently because there's been um, strange weather anomalies here and there. Like one minute is raining, the next minute is not. And, you know... To me, in that kind of situation, it's undesirable because, you know, sudden temperature changes, you know, it can lead to different kind of, because people adapt differently, right? Um, people get cold faster. If they get cold, hot, cold, hot, you know, their body probably can't adapt to the atmosphere as well. So they develop these symptoms of cold, right? Like I'm getting right now, see? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I keep wiping my nose, but I'm getting all these sinuses problems right now because I guess all these aluminum oxide that the marine air sprinkled down on onto on on me but yeah back I'm skin off track right now but back to, to my main argument about BMR that middle America are are um, jealous of California if anything I would love to get out of California right but in my situation right now I can't get out but in given the opportunity, yes, I'll leave California. I'll, that's why California have the highest exit. People are leaving California in droves, all right? And he don't understand that. Bill Maher is so disconnected. That's the thing with liberals. They're so disconnected with how people are living outside of the state of California. They think everything. See, the thing is with liberal, they pay attention to TV shows, right? TV shows, movies. And then what they don't realize is that real life is not a TV show, it's not a movie. So they can't adapt to it. They can't resonate with people. 
right? Not everything is a movie. Movie are manipulated. Movie you could brainwash by watching TV shows and movies. That's not real. That's not real life, and they can't understand that. People in California is because they they're living standards so different from Israel doesn't mean they're not they can't succumb to the same problem as regular people in middle of America, right? It's called reality. That's the thing with California. They don't live in the, they live in the bubble. They don't live in the reality, all right? Giving out needles to um to um people that's addicted to drugs, allowing people to poop in the middle of the street. There's no structure. There's no structure. They're enabling these bad habits, right? Once you enable enabling these kind of habits, there, there there's no structures, right? It's like when you raise a kid. When you raise a kid and they're bad and you don't do anything about it, they grow up to be bad people, right? There's got to be rules and regulations that that they're so the the liberals in California they're so stuck up on this idea that um protect people feeling feelings. You know what? Feelings. Sometimes you gotta put feel, people feeling the side. It's called tough love, but that's what they don't understand. And Bill Maher have. He's so disconnected. He's he's a sixty year old unmarried guy, right? Unmarried guy. I'm not saying that you can't be happy when you're sixty year old, but he has this. Not everybody's in his situation. He's a millionaire, right? How would he know how mi middle of America was like? Sure, he could say that. Oh, he grew up. And, but yeah, but you grew up there. But now you're sixty. How come? Why can't you apply what you grew up to which in your later life, right? He don't understand that. That's the thing with Bill Maher and the liberal, right? I'm an independent, right? I'm not swaying both sides. I, if anything, these in Democrats are supposed to appeal to m me, my type of people, the independent, the, sw the swing votes. But as of right now, I'm just sniffing, sorry guys. As of right now, they're not appealing to me, right? They're not appealing to me. Their ideas are suck. Their idea, the idea is whack, quote unquote, AOC term. Their idea is whack, right? <clears throat> That's the thing with Democrats. I just want to make that point out. They're so lost in touch, and they still want to say Middle America are jealous. You know what? Middle America is not jealous. They got better jobs. And I think when I check, uh, North Dakota had the highest, like the most um, satisfied living condition, right? Sure, it's, it's a small market city, a small market state, but people are ne over there are more happy with their with that what they what they have and with their lives. Right? It's not about what you have. It's how you live your life. But this idea of California. California is smug, all right? People I'm take it from me. I I'm a California. I was I was raised here most of my life and I don't like it. Right? And find a sort and they want and they wanna know and the, let me say it over. They wanna think that people who live in California are satisfied. I'm not satisfied with the way things are going right now, right? When I grew up, it was fun. People get to play outside. Kids are allowed to play outside without being worried, being kidnapping. Now, no kids are playing outside. They're just home all the time, right? The street is quiet. Things have changed dramatically in California, and that's what I want to say. I just the main point of this, I just want to tell Bill Maher, you are so disconnected with people right now. No matter where you live, right? I now can see why people don't like Californians. Californian, even the Californian don't like Californians, right? That's why California are moving out, and they don't understand that. And they try to re replace the population with illegal immigrants. You know what? If you replace people from outside of their their country, I mean their or, or original origin, they're not adapting to us. So basically, the California culture has changed. This whole melting pot, all right? This whole idea of melting pot. You know what? If you, for instance, right, if you make a bowl of spaghetti sauce, right, you put spaghetti, all right, you put spaghetti sauce, all right, then you start adding ingredients. Let me add some thyme, oregano, all right, it's a melting pot. And then when you add something that doesn't supposed to go there, all right, let me put in some chocolate bars into the melting pot of spaghetti sauce. All right, let me put in marshmallows. Let me put some peanut butter. Let me put some mayonnaise in this one. It doesn't taste right. Sure, it's a melting pot, right? Sure, it's a melting pot, but it tastes like crap. Is on that note, I just want to say that melting pot doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. It's a melting pot, but it's a pot of crap, and you don't want to taste that. All right, you want everything to be consistent. 
consistent with the ingredients surrounding it. If, but if people aren't being consistent, people aren't assimilating, it's gonna be it's gonna lead to a uncivilized society. That's where it is. California, they don't they don't want people to assimilate so or adapt to the situation is so people have their own thing going. The people have their own culture here, culture there. You know, when people have their own culture here, it leads to segregation, right? The Hispanic city, the Hispanic safe city, right? Sanctuary city is nothing but Hispanic, and then the blacks there is all blacks, and they're not integrating. They want to have this idea of people integrating with each other, but they're not integrating. If anything, is segregating, segregation. It's modern day segregation where it's one group of communities all Hispanic, one group of communities is all Asian, one group of communities all black, one group of of communities all white, or one group of communities all Jew. That's not a melting pot. That's segregation. California. That's what California is. It's modern day segregation. But people don't understand that. People won't want willing to look at that. People aren't willing to accept that. That's one one thing people are not talk, touching upon. When you go to California City, it's not blended in. It's not the Hispanic living with the the Asian and the Asian live with the blacks. No, they have their own community and they don't want to melt with each other. That's the thing. Right? But the thing is with American ideology, with if people have this um, patriotic ideas, we could live together in harmony. We, there's no there's no there's no areas where it's predominantly Asian, areas where it's predominantly white, areas when it was predominantly black. Because if in, in America, in my America, everybody would live together without, without, without being destructive, or they assimilate to ha to get each other's back. That's what American. That's my idea of American is. When you're American, you have to be proud of your country and be what you are. I mean, I, I might get a lot. I might get a lot. Lackeys on the other side saying, oh, uh, having their own talking points. But I mean, sure, you have your own perspective. This is my perspective of what America is. America is 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 lived by American values, right? The, tr the tr tradition of American, you know? I gotta admit, one of my favorite holiday is 4th of July. Some people say that might be a white people holiday, but I love the 4th of July. That's the only time when you, as a child, when, you gr when I grew up, it's the only time we stay up late to watch the fireworks and there's is a party going on all the time and people are having a good time every 4th of July. Um, I don't know if you can hear the plane right now. If you can hear it, it's probably they're spraying chemtrails or something. But anyway, on, on, on that note, yeah, I'm done. That's all I like to say. And thanks for watching. If anything, subscribe, share, do all the routine, but you don't have to. But... Uh, all right, I'll see you guys in another video, and that's what I got to say about these, these people that are going on right now. All right, peace.